Okay, in my last video, I just finished up, um, we just finished up creating these blurred gradients on our um, bowl, creating some highlights. And now we're going to copy those highlights and apply it to our, the liquids in our decanter and our glass. So we're going to have to go into our layers and make sure our decanter and our glass layers are unlocked so we can make some edits to those. Then go in and select your top highlight of your bowl and copy that so that we can apply that gradient to our decanter and our glass. Then in our layers panel we want to select our decanter layer and then on the canvas move the mouse pointer to the bottom of the decanter and press control V to paste the ellipse. So we're going to move our mouse down here, control V and you should see that gradient be pasted at the bottom of your decanter here. On the decanter, resize and move the ellipse until it fits just inside the decanter. So we're going to adjust this ellipse so that it just fits right inside there. You can kind of see it when it contrasts with the red. So just go a little past the red on each side so it fills up the base of our decanter bowl. Right about like that. Now we want to select our glass layer and apply the same gradient blur. So have our glass layer selected, mouse over your liquid, control V, and then make adjustments to this gradient and apply it to your glass. About like that. Okay, now we're going to select our glass and we're going to change it so that it's white, making it look a little more see-through like a real glass. So with our glass selected, we're going to go to our, let's see, fill and stroke panel, click the stroke tab, and then get your lightness slider and slide it all the way over to the right. Or if that's too contrasting, you can do a nice, a light gray also. So whatever color, kind of uh, just a really light gray or a white color, whichever you like best. I kind of like a little bit of gray in mine. Now we're going to do the same thing with our decanter. So let's go down to our layers and select our decanter layer. And then slide over and select our decanter. And under our HSL tab, drag your lightness slider all the way over should be about the same number as that we made our glass. So when you're done with that, your glass and decanter should look about like this. And if you haven't recently, go ahead and save this project so we don't lose any of our work. And now we're going to move into lesson four of section five and just continue the same video. We're going to add some hard highlights to our glass and decanter. So in the layers panel, make sure your glass layer is unlocked. And in the toolbox, get your selection tool and select your glass. Then we're going to take the, go up to view, zoom, and say zoom selection so that our glass fills our page. To add hard highlights to our glass, we're going to go ahead and select our Bezier tool. And we're going to start at the top left corner of our glass, and we're going to just trace around the left side of this glass and back up over on the left side just to add a hard highlight um, on that left side. So as if the sun's peeking in um, on the left side of our screen. So click at the top left corner, then drag to that first point um, at the top of your stem then click down to the base and over to the rounded part of the base and then right at this point you're just going to want to come in just a little bit to about maybe right here and click to add another endpoint then you're going to come back up to where the stem meets the base and go just right of where your la that other endpoint is and then go right up along the side of that line along the stem and come up to about right 
here on the rim of your glass and finish it off at the end point. So you should have lines that look kind of like this right now. So now we're going to color this, um, the hard highlight. So under our fill and stroke panel, we want to make sure that, um, let's see, under fill and stroke, flat color, and click the HSL tab. Then we want to take our lightness slider and make sure it is all the way over to the right. And then we're going to click and drag the opacity slider to about 30%. So opacity slider, I'm just going to go ahead and type in 30 right there. And then we want to take our stroke paint tab, make sure that's selected, and click the no paint button or the X there. And when you're done, hopefully it looks a little similar to this image here. And one thing I just realized, because I wasn't seeing any fill um, in my hard highlight that I wanted to make, so I turned off, um, we should turn off our stroke, and then under fill, um, my alpha slider was all the way to the left. I want to make sure that that's all the way to the right. So if that happened to you, make sure that it's slid all the way back over to the right and that our PC is set at 30. So that looks a little better. It should look about like this. So now we're going to do the same sort of thing to our decanter. So let's go ahead and lock that glass layer. Make sure your decanter layer is unlocked and selected. And then let's scroll over here, select our decanter, and say view zoom selection. So now I'm going to, um, with my decanter layer selected, grab my Bezier tool and draw the same type of thing like I did on my glass. I'm going to start, oops, need my Bezier tool. Start in the top right. Now you're going to have to try and match these curves as close as, as, close as possible. Um, but remember, we can always go back in and use our nodes to make some adjustments if we need to. So just trying to follow your edge as close as possible. And get to about um, a good point, maybe right about here. And start working your way back up. Again, following those curves curves of your decanter. And it doesn't have to be perfect right off the bat because we will go back in and use our nodes to make some adjustments. So now I'll go grab my nodes tool and make some adjustments here. Pop that back out a little bit. I'm going to make this all a little more narrow in here. And I want to pop this out here, but bring this top part back in just a little bit. Let's see. That might be good enough for me. So now we can just easily go ahead and unlock your glass layer so that we can copy this hard highlight that we made on our glass and we can paste that style to the hard highlight that we made on our decanter. So control C to copy that, edit paste style to paste it, and oh, that just looks very nice. Hopefully yours turned out something like this, if not better. And the next part of our instructions says to add highlights to all of the grapes. But I'm going to let us skip that part just because it's kind of tedious with, with all of the grapes in our bowl. 
Um, and I think the radial gradients that we added to our grapes looks just fine anyways. So we're going to go and skip that part and add some shadows to our glass and decanter and bowl. And to add shadows, the first thing we're going to do is add another layer. So go select your background layer and click the Add New Layer button and call it Shadows. And above Current, make sure your shadows is at least above your background layer. And before we move on, I'm going to rearrange um, what my canvas looks like here so that um, I have it looking like what the text does. So I'm going to actually select my decanter and I'm going to just go ahead and group everything for now so that I can resize it all down just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing to my glass. Size that down. Should be a little more proportional to my canter anyway. So <laughs> move that over here. Put my decanter next to it. And then my bowl of grapes would probably be a little bigger than the decanter and glass. Oops. I want to make sure I have. Oh, I better go and lock my bowl. And then I can group those together as well. Then I'm going to resize that, make it a little bigger. There, that looks good for now. I can go back in and resize them a little later. But try and have them set up like this so that when we can go to add in some shadows, um, it looks a little more proportionate. Okay, then to add my shadow, I'm going to click my ellipse tool and click on the bottom left side of my bowl. Click and drag over to I'm almost about to my decanter, right about there. And you should have a nice horizontal ellipse drawn right there. Then we'll need to add some color to our shadow by going to our fill and stroke panel. We're going to click on the, make sure your fill tab is selected and then under flat color, make sure your HSL tab is selected. On the lightness slider, click and drag the arrows all the way to the left. So grab your lightness slider and drag it all the way to the left. Then on the stroke paint tab, click and drag, or click the no paint option, so make sure that's selected if that wasn't already. Then we're going to drag our blur slider to about 7. I'm just going to go ahead and type in 7 there. And then click and drag the opacity slider to 50. And then on the canvas, use the selection tool to move the shadow under the bowl. When you're done, it should look similar to this. Next, we're going to add the shadows to the glass and decanter, so go ahead and unlock both of those layers. And then with the shadow selected, Control c to copy, mouse over to the decanter, and Control v to paste, and then over to the glass, Control v to paste. And you're going to resize both of these shadows so that they fit both the glass and the decanter. So make some adjustments so that the shadow fits both of those objects fairly well. That looks good. So make sure you've resized all of these shadows to fit um, the decanter and the glass. And it should look like something's shining, the sun is shining over from the left side and all those shadows are going in the same direction. So when you're done, it should your project at this point should look something like this. Go ahead and hit save and combine this with your color value file and submit that for assignment 5A.